I got all kinds of pets, Dennis. Sure are lucky. My <laughs> folks said I could have a pet someday, if he's a little pet. I'll sell you one of my snakes. They're little. <laughs> I don't think my mom would let me have a snake. I took one in the shore last year. She dropped the lemon pie on her foot. <laughs> hey, I know what you can have. Come on down to my house. I got just a pet for you. Hi, Clarence. Mickey Haskell gave him to me. Isn't he a swell pet? Yeah. You think your folks will let you keep him? I'm sure they will. I think. My mom said I could have a hamster someday. Let me get a better look at him. Okay. I didn't know a hamster looked like that. <laughs> I didn't either, but Mickey got him from some other kid, and the other kid said he was a hamster. So that's what he is, all right. Sure has big teeth, hasn't he? What does he eat? Mickey says he eats weeds and roots and stuff. We got some swell weeds in our yard. If you need any... Heck no, Tommy. We got the tallest weeds in town back of our garage. My mom said so. <laughs> I sure hope you can keep him. When I get home, I'll leave him out in the yard while I go in and ask her. Mom gets kind of nervous when I surprise her. <laughs> Isn't he swell? Yeah. Hey, Mom! Hi! Dennis, don't slam! <laughs> How's the best mom in the whole world feeling today? The best mom in the whole world is feeling a little suspicious at the moment. Why do you ask? Well, I was just thinking, and I remember that you said someday I could have a pet, right? Well, yes, someday. But we'll have to find the right kind of pet, son. Mickey Haskell's got a swell goat with a beard down to here and horns up to no, here. No, Dennis, no goats. Of course not. Oh, I don't want a goat. Goats are too big. I'd just like to have some kind of little bitty pet. There wouldn't be any trouble to anybody. That's the only kind. Like a little hamster, maybe? Oh, we talked about that once before. You know, a hamster might be just the thing. Well, as long as we don't get a pair, that's about 12 too many. <laughs> I guess one hamster ought to be okay. Oh, boy, I knew you'd let me keep him. His name is Clarence, and he's awful smart. He's outside the cage, and that's what Mickey said he is, all right. A hamster. Come on. Come on. I left his cage out here in the yard, because Mom doesn't like animals in the house sometimes. Was a shrewd move. <laughs> You'll be crazy about him, Mom, because... Dad, look, my hamster's gone. Somebody kidnapped him. Huh. Well, here's how he got out, son. He just chewed a hole right through the cage. Oh, that's a shame. Gee, I told him I'd only be a minute. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, honey. He'll probably come right back. That's right, son. We'll leave the cage outside here and put some food in it. When he gets hungry, we'll... I'm gonna we'll... look for him all over. I just gotta find him. Hey! Maybe he's in the backyard. Here, Clarence! Here, Clarence! Hello, Alice. Mitchell. Just stopped to remind you not to forget our fishing trip. Oh, forget <laughs> it. I can't think of anything else. I've arranged to take Friday off. Oh, fine. Oh, it'll do you both good to get away for a few days. Oh, I can hardly wait, Alice. If you see Clarence any place, Mr. Wilson, call me right away, will you? If I see who? Uh, we've had a minor tragedy. Dennis brought home a pet hamster, and the little fella got away somehow. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I better be running along. Mrs. Wilson's waiting for me at the drugstore. I'll see you later. I never would have thought a hamster could chew a hole like this, would you? Well, come to think of it, no. Look at those sticks, just like they were cut with a hand axe. <laughs> uh, Dennis, Dennis, come here a minute. Did you find him yet, Dad? Not yet, son. Tell me, uh, what kind of teeth did this pet of yours have? I, I mean, were they big? Yeah, he's got swell teeth, Dad. <laughs> Two of them right in front. Boy, do they look sharp. <clears throat> oh, oh. I tell you what, son, let you and I go in and look at our animal book. Maybe you can show me a picture of this uh, hamster. Okay, Dad. <laughs> God is pretty, George. I'm so proud of it. Yes, I think I've done pretty well with it, Martha, in spite of everything. It's hard work. Oh, I guess I've battled every type of garden pest known to man. 
aphids, corn borers, dentists, cutworms, <laughs> plant lice, dentists. Poor little dentist, you're pretty hot on him, George. Oh, I guess I am at that sometimes, Martha. He is a well-meaning little fellow, I think. <laughs> I'll take these in the house. Oh, all right, dear. Ah. Martha, do you know what I've got in this yard? A gopher. Oh, no. They're so destructive. That's awful. Why, one gopher could ruin this entire yard in a week if I let him. Oh, dear. He just swallowed a delphinium this long, just like a strand of spaghetti. <laughs> Look, there's his hole. I hope you catch him. You bet I'll catch him. I'll get that little vandal out of there if I have to tunnel in after him with my bare hands. <laughs> Wilson, saying your prayers? Of course not. But I may need prayer before I'm through. Mr. Wilson, I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. You've got bad news? Wait till you hear mine. I've got a gopher in my yard. Oh, dear, already. Where is he, Mr. Wilson? That's Clarence. That's my little hamster. He's a gopher. What? Well, the more we heard about him, the less he sounded like a hamster. And Dennis picked out his picture. This. That's a good picture of Mrs. Wilson. You sure got pretty teeth, hasn't he? <laughs> Never mind, Dennis. Mitchell, there hasn't been a gopher in this end of town for years. Nobody has gophers in their yard. What? Why does he pick on me? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wilson, but Dennis thought it was a hamster. You see, he got it from some little boy on the other side of town. Great Scott, now Dennis is going clear across town to find trouble for me. <laughs> Gophers are not pets, Tommy. They're not. Gee, they sure look like pets. No, sir. A gopher is a wild animal. He isn't happy in a cage. He's supposed to live out in the woods. My dad said so. Well, what are we going to do about it? What we got to do, Tommy, is catch old Clarence right away. His dad says the minute they get him out of Mr. Wilson's flowers, he'll take me down to the pet store and buy me a hamster. A real one. Oh, boy. You think we can catch him? Heck yes! I know a way to build a dandy trap. Come on out of the garage! We'll get him, Mr. Wilson. The minute he sticks his nose in this trap, whap! Oh, I won't sleep a wink tonight. Oh, George, you do need that trip to the lake. I wish you boys could leave right now. Now? <laughs> won't even be able to leave Thursday if we haven't trapped this gopher by then. Why, I wouldn't enjoy a minute of it. No, I guess you wouldn't. Why, I'd as soon go off and leave my house on fire as to leave a gopher in my flower bed. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Well, I'm not worried about it. We'll have him by tomorrow morning. <laughs> See you later, Miss Wilson. All right, Metro. Well, I'll go and get dinner started. All right, dear. <laughs> a good place for a gopher. Dennis, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Wilson. Get that thing out of my flower bed. What is this, anyhow? It's our gopher trap. Me and Tommy are going to catch that little gopher for you. Well, don't bother. I'll catch it. Oh, it isn't any bother. No, we like to catch things. Well, you just catch him somewhere else, not in my flower bed. Okay, we'll catch him here on your lawn. <laughs> works, Mr. Wilson? When old Clarence gets hungry tonight, he'll come out and eat this big fat carrot. Sure. And that pulls a stick and the box falls down. Right. And tomorrow when we look, we'll be in there. Then my dad will buy me a hamster. Morning, Mr. Wilson. Any luck? Oh, hello, Mitchell. No, no luck with that one over there. The little devil sprung it again last night, got away clean. Oh, God. Well, maybe that one will be luckier. 
Look at this sprung to. You know, that gopher's no fool. He's a diabolical genius. <laughs> Certainly is. He's got a, an appetite like an army mule and a set of teeth like a buzzsaw. Just look at these flowers. Ruined. Tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> Gee, Tommy, he isn't in there. Maybe Mrs. Upton's old cat scared him away. I don't think Clarence is afraid of cats. I thought sure we'd catch him by now. He's pretty smart, all right. I bet you he's hiding someplace just watching us right now. Where do you think he's hiding? Well, the best place to hide around here is under the house. Is he in there? No. Tommy, look! Our trap! He's in it! We got Clarence! Don't touch it! Don't pick it up! He might get away! He's in there! Don't touch him! I'll go get Mr. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! Come quick! Mr. Wilson! We got him! Mr. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! We got him in our trap, Mr. Wilson! Are you sure? Oh, this is the best news yet. Uh, Tommy, get away. Don't touch it. Mr. Wilson! Oh, that... I hope this isn't a false alarm, boys. I couldn't stand it. Can you see him? He's in there all right. Dennis, it's not the gopher. It's Mrs. Elkin's old cat. <laughs> it is. Uh-oh. Oh, I see him. I see him. My, he's a big son of a gun. <laughs> I think we better go play over at your house today, Tommy. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, have you seen my kitten, little Tinkerbell? No, Mrs. Elkins, I haven't seen the little Tinker at all. Mean. Why, I ought to have you arrested. What? Why, I... Uh... Why, everybody knows you hate animals and children, Mr. Wilson, but... I do not any <laughs> such thing. Idea of trapping a poor, defenseless little kitten. I didn't even set this trap. The boy set the trap. Dennis, will you explain... Dennis? <laughs> Dennis? Where'd he go? Yes, that's right. Blame poor little Dennis. Well, believe me, all my friends will hear about this. Fine. Get all your friends together and send them both over here. Maybe they can help me catch my gopher. I hope she falls off her broom. <laughs> We probably should have done this in the first place. Oh, yeah. Mary Vale says this is the only way to do it. Flush him out with a garden hose. Well, it'll be worth the dollar we paid to rent this silly cage if we can get the gopher into it. <laughs> well, I've got this exit covered. Ah, good. I'll flush him out from this end. And when he comes out into this cage, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> this ought to get results. Oh, sure. Yeah, the water goes in this hole, and the gopher comes out this end. That's all there is to it. <laughs> He's in trouble this time. I, I expect he knows it by now. You know, I'm going to wait right here where I can watch this cage till this thing is over. Well, it shouldn't be long now. Oh, sir, we've really got him cornered this time. I don't know why I didn't think of this yesterday. <laughs> well, I've got to go over to the house and make a phone call. Let me know when it happens. Oh, I'll fire off a 16-gun salute when I catch this gopher, Mitchell. Don't worry. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, you little... <laughs> Got you now. <laughs>
Well, now, where the dickens is that water going? I suppose. I wonder... Huh. Well, now... Now, where is it going? <laughs> Great Scott, it's... I got him! Martha! Martha! Oh, she went downtown. Mitchell! I'll call Mitchell! You have? Oh, that's great, Mr. Wilson. He caught the gopher. Wonderful! I, I thought it'd work. Huh? Not in the cage? Well, how... <laughs> we'll open it for you, Mrs. Wilson. We can open it. Help me, Tommy. And you slammed the garage door, huh? <laughs> Great! Congratulations! Does Dennis know Mr. Wilson's caught him? Yeah, yeah, I'll be over and help you put him in the cage, and then we'll decide what to do with him. And tomorrow, Lake Bailey. <laughs> and by golly, am I ready. <laughs> I'll bet those fish are jumping like fleas. Why, there's one big fellow up there that must weigh about 15 pounds. Mr. Wilson, <laughs> guess what? Just a minute, Mitchell. What is it, Dennis? Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Wilson? Mr. Wilson? Hello? Hello? Well, what's the matter? What happened? I don't know. All of a sudden, he just went sort of incoherent. Gave a little moan and the line went dead. <laughs> Gee, Dennis, I never did see a grown man cry before. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wilson. Hey, maybe we ought to tell him about our discovery. That ought to cheer him up. Yeah, that'll be a swell surprise for him. Boy, just look at that. I'll bet Mr. Wilson's got the only house in town with a spring right in the patio. <laughs> well, I might as well put this stuff away. Boy, I was sure looking forward to that trip. I know, honey, it's a shame. Do you suppose we'll ever catch that gopher? Frankly, I don't know. He must have at least 15 holes in that yard by now. Why, he's much too smart for a trap. We may have to send for an exterminator. We got him, Dad! I'm gonna kill Tommy! What did he say? It sounded like we got him. You don't suppose... <laughs> Dennis! Dennis! He's gone. Let's go over to Wilson's. Well, there he is, Martha, <laughs> at last. <laughs> My, he's little, George. I thought he'd be so the about... battle's over, huh? Oh, yes, I just caught him a little while ago, Mitchell. Oh, he was a tricky little devil, but I outsmarted him. I thought you found him in that trap the boys built, the one with the box. And... <laughs> well, I did, but... Uh... Well, why was he in the boy's trap? Because I flooded all his other tunnels so completely he couldn't go anywhere else. That's why. That's how thinking him. <laughs> when you pit a wild animal, cunning as he is, against the brain of civilized man, Mitchell, there can only be one outcome. <laughs> Water in the basement. <laughs> I had no idea they were such interesting little creatures, Mrs. Wilson. Yes, look at him, Alice. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's cute as can be. Cute? Do you realize that little varmint has eaten $17 worth of my flowers in three days? Look at him, George, look. I think he's smiling at you. <laughs> oh, Martha. 
The wild animals can't smile, you know that. Well, it looked like a smile. Probably a touch of indigestion. <laughs> he certainly earned it. Ate enough of my dahlia bulbs to give heartburn to a horse. <laughs> he won't be eating anymore. By the way, there was something I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Wilson. Oh, what is it, Mitchell? Well, <clears throat> after we dispose of the gopher, how about you and I going up to Lake Bailey this evening for a little fishing? Oh! <laughs> Hi, everybody! See, gentlemen, that's Clarence. See? Hi, Clarence. Oh, no, not too close, boys. Get away from the cage. Uh, you know where you're going, Clarence? You're going for a long ride out in the country where you have a whole big woods to live in out there. That's what I told Dennis we'd do with him. Take him out in the country someplace and turn him loose. Well, fair enough. Good idea, Mitchell. I'll go get my coat and ride out with you right now. Oh, you and Mr. Wilson don't have to bother, Dad. Tommy and I have got it all fixed. What do you mean, all fixed? There's this great big truck parked across the street at the park from our house. And the driver's eating his lunch. He'll be leaving in a few minutes. And he's going to take Clarence and let him out. Way out in the country for us. Isn't that swell? Well, that sounds like the solution to everything, George. Why, yes. Come on, Mitchell. Let's go talk to the man, huh? The sooner this is over, the happier I'll be. <laughs> we'll all be. Especially me. And you know when I'll be happier, Mom? When I get my very own hamster. Dennis, first thing in the morning, you and I'll go out and buy one, cage and all. Oh, boy! <laughs> hey, Dad! Wait a minute! Why didn't you first go by? Oh, just leave all that stuff on the curb, Mitchell. I'll pack it. Oh, boy, I feel wonderful. We ought to sleep good tonight, that great mountain air. Dennis. <laughs> Boy, it sure was dark about half. Here's the food to eat on the way. Wonderful. Fried chicken and coconut cake with potato salad, Mrs. Wilson? Why, yes. How did you know? That's what Mom cooked for him. She said she just bet you went and cooked the same thing, too. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll eat it all. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> well, I think this is just about everything. <laughs> hey, Dennis! Come here, will you? Would you look at all this stuff they're taking for only two days? It looks like an African safari. <laughs> well, we like to be comfortable. When Mitchell and I rough it, we rough it in style, don't we? <laughs> you bet. Here, let me help you. Hey, Dad, guess what? Mickey Haskell was down at the service station, and this big truck stopped for gas. And Mickey saw my little gopher on the front seat. Oh, good. Then he'll be all right. Yeah. And Mickey brought him back to me because he thought I wanted him. Look! <laughs> so you and Mr. Wilson can take him to Lake Bailey with you and leave him there. Yeah, I guess that's the best thing. We'll take him along and leave him at Lake Bailey. What? Leave who at Lake Bailey? He's back. The gopher. What? The gopher? Where? Oh! <laughs> Oh, no. 